Welcome back and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a basic player okay for both it can be controlled in mobile okay so first I already added a pack and this is a modular type pack so there's a two type of asset pack available in Unreal Engine marketplaces one is full body mesh whereas the all the heads bone even the legs and everything are attached in a one single mesh and there's a second type of uh, mesh available which is called modular asset so why are basically the head body even some of other parts like the hand or even the shoes or even the legs are separated and we combine them and use them and that's called modular mesh system so first i'm going to show you the modular mesh system because the modular mesh system is some different than the regular base one or the full body mesh but the animation sector both are same so for creating them we are going to use the unreal in the default third person so it will going to be de increase our lots of work but because I'm going to show you in a scratch, that's why I'm, I'm going to create a folder called a logic. Okay, in the a logic folder, let's create a player from the scratch. So first, we need to create a character class. So character class is eventually eventually used for making movement, getting camera access, and control the player. So let's give it name BP player. Instead of the BB player, we are going to first set up the mesh and the animation sector, then we'll be work on the imports. Instead of this thing, we are going to open the by default example of this asset pack. So in this asset pack, if you go to the level slash view true, it's have basically a model which is already set up. So I'm going to just copy this mesh. Okay, so there's you can see that this is the head and this is the basically the body and this is the uh, its other part. Okay, like the hair part. So first we are going to select the body let's say that why is the body and there as you can see this all the parts are available so let's go to our player and select the mesh and we need to drag and drop here because we are going to combine with this one so simply we are going to go to the asset sm mesh and characters and here's the body so i'm going to use the variant 2 or even you can use the variant 1 as well there's a no issue now after the selecting this thing at the rotation we will be set it to minus 90 so it will be become perfect and give the upper value which is minus 90 as well or even some of cases you can use 80 uh, minus 87 which is also a perfect value okay so here's our basically the character main part or the body part then we will be attach a head so there's a two type of different sets so I'm going to just use this black one and look which is look great okay second with this thing we can give you some hair so there's some um, extra hair available should be available so let me check this uh, one again and let's see why is this hair available in this sector okay this is basically given by separate so let's try to use this okay cool so you can see how it's working and this is how because whenever you join anything under a parent class it's going to be automatically assigned at that class if some of cases if it's uh, the rotation location is not perfect you may shock that your location rotation and your location rotation and the scale are the same point so saved and saved okay now cool once we have this thing now we need to do something uh, else the character main class is ready now for the dynamic movement system we will be adding spin arm control so it's called sp arm so we are done the basically some coding uh, the player setup in power so we are now go in the coding bar so set it like this minus 90 and will be give at the near of the head and compile and save and i've set the value to 200 and then inside us by selecting this thing we are going to add a camera the camera will be help us to uh, see this character and we'll be set it the location and rotation to zero zero so it will be automatically assigned the spine one and with this thing will we give use uh, con control rotation so we are able to control it and also at the player classes there's a, a option available called rotation so just search rotation and you find that a, a repl uh, orientation rotation so or even you can search o r i or rotate and there the orientation rotation are disabled and yeah is pitch so it's going to be by default control with our movement okay so we have this thing and with this thing what i'm going to do uh, the camera and there's some um, extra extra system available which is called camera lag rotation and i'm going to enable i'm going to set it to 5 by 5 by 5 by 5 
so which is basically give us um, a smooth lag but it will be look great also now let's back to our main map which we developed in our previous video and now we need a game mode to assign on this map so for unreal engine understanding unreal engine need to know that how you are going to set up the player with or which actor class you are going to use in which map so for that the game mode are used so let's create a uh, in the blueprint right mouse blueprint class and here on the game mode base you can give your name uh, your game mode base so bp player game mode you can also write uh, player gm which is also represent game mode and after uh, saving this thing you can select that and go to settings world settings and just assign it here so by assigning them you are basically this environment or this level will be used now this game mode double click and open this game mode you can go to the default pawn class and now choose your uh, bp player okay once we have the bp player compile and save now we have the bp player and now what i'm going to do is if i click on play will be assigned with this thing there's a tons of error can become uh, for the different versions of asset pack that i'm using but now you can see that how it's working or even how it's looking so it's look cool uh, for getting the full view of angle you can even enable uh, or make the uh, camera angle some more distance like uh, 400 it will be give you enough view distance for take a look so you can see like now you can see the full body of the mesh okay now we need to make the input system so for if you don't do if you don't want to do too, too much heritage or you know don't if you don't want to do too much work there's the inputs are already available with the third person player okay so if you go to the input section and there you find our third person character class you find there's some basic code which is get player controller and player controller so this get controller and it's controlling or it's casting a player controller which by default unreal engine provide so if you go to the maps and if you open the uh, player map you will be see by default there is a player controller are assigned already if you want you can create by your own custom but i'm using this one okay and then it's assigned it's getting the enhanced input system and it's set up in that subsystem by assigning this default input system which is basically have some key binding of forward jump loop and etc so we are going to use first this uh, work so we can use the below down code like the for the movement and for the camera input let's go to our bb player go to even graph and just delete this thing and paste it compile and save now you have the input access on your this player character now go to the third person character and here some inputs are available that we are going to use copy them all you can skip the uh, jump part because we don't need that for now but we'll be using it later so i'm just skipping that but i'm do i don't i'm not going to connect them so for now i'm just gonna uh, deconnected with this thing so the jump will not work but the camera and other thing will be work now if i click on play and you can see with the camera i can easily rotate i can go forward left right and as you can see there's a debugging show because i enable the debugging mode so i'll we need to just uh, disable the demo and it will be work great so as you can see how characters are smooth now because we added the camera like system so the camera like will be give us enough input uh stuff so here uh, do collision test will be going to be uh yeah we'll be enable that but in a debugging there should be a debugging mode available so debug 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 uh camera lag uh oh i'm sorry i'm in the wrong character class this should be and there camera settings camera lag here the uh draw debug lag mark or lag mark just disable that and this will be now not show okay it will be don't show right now and you can see we have basically this smooth one now we need to make the uh, player character animations that it should be work so for creating the animation it's really very easy you need to first choose the character uh, skeleton that which is skeleton it does then you need to create a basically a animation so you can choose that and create an animation blueprint it automatically going to be assigned let's give it name bp uh a and i animation okay and i'm going to just move it to the logics folder and instead of just logic folder let's open this thing now we need to create the basic movement system there's a lot of way to create the movement system as well so let's do the basic code that get player controller will get below city uh below 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 city and from that will we get the length 
to be honest uh, i assigned by the uh, mistake i assigned this key like a hot key of l that it should be changed the desktop so let me assign it to some other like f4 microphone recording uh uh two okay now it will not going to affect very cool so uh at here length uh vector length which is basically the filtering of the length and from that this is basically our speed value to be honest and because i'm going to use the basic one i'm not using the blend space right now so i'm going to do the basic one which is basically greater than equals if it's more than 0.1 it's mean that we are moving and we will give a, a boolean of that mo ammo moving okay and instead of that there's a idle and walk and as you can see there's an animation available so from that we'll be cast to bp player which is basically our player character class and if it's cast it successfully then it will be give the moving data to share in animation blueprint will be create a simple state machine so a state machine uh because i'm doing the basic one that's why in later video or in uh, updated videos we will be use blind space and etc as well so from that first we need to assign a idle so they assign and like this you can connect simply like this and this is basically the idle animation make sure that you set it as a loop otherwise it will be never going to be played so as you can see it's now playing a start and from that we need a basic system called walk and will be get a return from that and for this true a gate will be fill up by our move if it's moving is true we are moving at there will be give the walking animation and make sure that's also are looped after that from the coming back it will be go to the movement again and at here it will be verify that if the movement it falls so if the movement is false then it going to be automatically switch to the idle which is mean that uh we are not moving at all so moving not that if it's the variable is not as a true uh the a bypass value it's going to be reset to at this one now we have this thing we go to be a bb player and here we are going to assign our bp animation and as you can see now there's a question will become bro why my head is not moving with this because at here we need to do some extra code or even construction which is called a lead post by component so we'll be get our mesh and we'll be search that lead post by component which is basically uh the targeted and it will be basically synchronize this your current animation with your separate this kind of like this and this so we are going to be assigned like this uh sorry the lead post bone component should be in the mesh and the targeted should be those okay now it's good and first to update if you want you can give by but compile and save you will be see that now the heads and everything are moving perfectly without any issue now we have this thing i will go to the character walk speed uh, let's set it to 120 which is by default a decent walk speed so let's click on play here we are and boom you can see by by default on really in animation like this is using done really by default template animation which is a basically some faster you can see like the walk okay it's some like it's just skipping so for fixing this thing we are going to place up with the value let's give it 150 uh which is basically also called oh my god okay walk speed which is 1.5 milliseconds uh still looking escape so okay let's say 200 let's see okay now look much better you can see like how it's working quite enough it's looking now okay that we can use uh this how now you can see that the camera movement and even it's because it's giving a simple lag so it's going to be some smoother for use okay for more blending will be work as i said will be working later but you can see now it's working now if you have a question that bro how it's uh i can understand it's working with the mobile as well so in mobile by default there's no touch system is available but you can use the only this joystick so moving with forward and leftward so it will be work because by default on really components on the input system are built for like this thing in hand input system are built for the movement system as well 
because it's going to be work with the mobile touch as well so you can use it by default one so i guess you understand how you can create the basic movement system so thank you so much for watching guys see you in the next video and we'll be on more bye bye